Hello my friends, B-Dog here. I am back with another Superstar Spinner. So I kind of have told you guys before that this is my favorite pack. Um, kind of the reason being is that you have access to almost all of these top tiers um, event cards and you can get multiple stars on these for what I think is a really good price. So if you look at some of these other event packs, these theme cards, you know, the, the, so I'm just going to the ankle breakers, the first pack, the percentages to get anything high in the tiers are incredibly low. It's just ridiculously low to get anything good. So I have seen people open and open and open, and then you get three collectibles. So these are okay if you want collectibles. I don't necessarily care about this theme that much. I don't need collectibles, but you just, you have zero chance at these like top cards. If I go to the elite pack, you're spending 8,500 coins. Again, zero chance for these top cards. I've seen some people pull them like They'll just keep spinning and they'll spend thousands of coins in order to try for those top cards and it just doesn't happen. You get collectibles and they can craft, but just not worth it to me. So like, you know, two of these packs, you're up to 17,000 coins. Right now I have 20,000 coins and typically, now Superstar Spinner can be a trap, but typically you can get in here and come away with a really good card for 10 to 15,000. So less than two elite packs. So that's kind of what I'm going for. One thing I like about these, um, so, you know, for me, I, I don't mind getting the top one, two, or three tier. I love that you can get multiple stars. You get a chance at past theme cards. And uh, I, you know, now that we don't have to, like, save for Big Dom anymore, I I don't have a lot of cards. I'm not, I'm not as concerned about balance now. So I can just kind of try to get whatever I want and I really don't care about balance. So um, I don't have a lot, some of these theme cards in the top two or three tiers. You know, if, I, if I'm if i aiming for cards for sure, study these before you get into Superstar Spinner because you really got to know what you want. But top tier, of course, I would want. And if I did get the top tier, you know, kind of my favorite cards would probably be um, no foundation cards unless I'm really running low on coins. But the ones I'd be looking at, I already have two of those curries. The ones I have my eye on, that Kobe would be really nice. And then uh, Kobe is a duo with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So that's that Kobe is a small forward. And then that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a power forward. I doubt I have enough coins right now to get uh, two superstar spinners in, but... I showed, I just posted a video about how to get free coins. I got 20,000 coins for free in less than a week. So I just posted that video, but I do it through this, um, through that offer wall. So I'm really not too concerned about coins and I just want to have fun. But really my, my, for the top tier, I'd be aiming for Kareem or Kobe. I mean, if you get Curry, then you just go with Curry. That's a shooting guard. So I look at those positions, right? I'm looking at a shooting guard there for Curry, if I want it, a shooting guard or a small forward for Kobe, or a power forward for uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I would also probably take Tatum, but it just depends. You get trapped in there, so you just don't know how many coins you're going to have lost before you get a good tier. But I'm also in the Garnett tier. I'm looking for, um, there's some players I really like. This Lillard, I would love that Lillard. Um, I do have two curries uh, in the higher tier, so I don't really need this Garnett curry. But if I get a curry, that's a good thing. Uh, the the themed fall curry, not the foundation curry. But I really love that Lillard. I don't have a recent Lillard at all, so I would love the Lillard. That's a point guard. Um, are there any others I'd be aiming for? I already have two of those Kobe's. I have an MJ. You know, if I got that Iverson, I have I don't have a very high tier Iverson, so that would be cool. And you know that Durant, I don't have that Durant. That's pretty nice. So small forward Durant, that James would be cool. Small forward James. So basically, what I'm looking at, guys, is are, are the positions I'm looking for in the superstar spinner. I would like that Clay Thompson, and I would gladly take him because. He duos with my Curries. I have one Clay Thompson, but to get two of them, then I would have a, a Curry-Thompson duo for two teams, and that would be really cool. So 
shooting guard or small forward or point guard is what I'm looking at. Or power forward for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar if I'm on the highest tier. But what I'm looking at, guys, is the Garnet tier actually has the players I want the most, I think. We'll just have to see. But basically, these top two tiers are the tiers I would like. Um, will I accept, you know, something lower? So let's just look and really study these because uh, you definitely don't want to just get in there and not know what you're doing. We're going to get the Wimbenyama this event. Are there any blues I would like? I already have two of those curries, or I have one of those curries, so I might take that curry. Kyrie Irving has been really good. I've used him in events. I have one, but I might take a second one. So that's a point guard. Um, that Alexander would be nice, maybe. Who else? So really, you got to study this. That's kind of why I'm showing you guys my tactics first, besides, besides just jumping in. I will jump in. I don't like making long videos, but I just want to study this before I jump in. I already have that Donachich. Um, what else? What are the other blue ones? We're going to get that Maxi. Another James is okay. Really, I'm hoping for top two tiers, but I just want to know what I'm getting into before I dive in. Um, who else? You know, I, I don't want to, I don't want the blue, but I might get stuck in there and just have to go with it. The Shaq would be nice. That Shaq right there, that this Shaq duos with that LeBron James on Garnett. So if I could get the Shaq and LeBron James duo, that would be really sweet too. So it's a money makers. So there's a couple of centers I might like too. It just all depends on what I get. So I don't really want this tier. So I'm just going to jump in, guys. I know that was a long time, but I just I had to check before I go. So I think I know what I want. I'm going to take my time, but here we go. I do really like these. So let's see what we get. You can get trapped in here and they can change these almost every event or, you know, every time. So I'm looking at my tier level. I'm looking at my position in stars. Right now I'm going to spin star, uh, stars and tier level, but let's do tier level to see if I can get some higher tiers here before I get too far. I'm going to keep spinning for a while. It's 50 per spin now. I just got to watch my coins. They're going to keep me trapped for a while before you can get a higher tier. So we'll just see how this goes. This is usually what takes the most amount of coins to spend to get top two or three. So 475. 475 still. So it looks like it might hang on 475 per spin. <sighs> So this is interesting because I told you there were some acceptables in the blue. That's a new card for me. I'm going to spin stars just for curiosity. It's a cheaper price right now, but I'm showing you my strategy. Let's get the stars up. Two star. I would like a three star. So I spent about 4,000 coin now. Three, 3,000. I'm not taking foundation. I'm just seeing if a theme pops up here and a higher star level, but really I'm probably going to keep spinning. I could I could literally use all of my coins in here and I don't want to do that, but it could happen. <laughs> so I'm about 4,500 in. I'm going to keep spinning stars. I would like three or four, but the stars aren't as important as tier. So I don't want to waste all of my coins on the stars. Let's go back to tier. That Reeves is cool, but I, I've got to get top two. I really don't want to accept anything, and I could just get trapped in here, guys, but I don't want to accept anything below top two. So let's just keep it going. This used to get to where the tier it would be like 1,200 coins per spin, so I at least get two spins per thousand. But this could take all of it. We'll just have to see. Really what I'll do is if I get top two tier, then I'll just look for a theme card. 10,000 in. You know, I, I could have or should have gone for blue probably, but I'm just going to keep going. I'm in it, and I'm having fun with it. Like I said, I'm getting coins for free now. So I am having fun, but <laughs> I would be pretty disappointed if I didn't come out of here with something pretty high. That blue card could have been really high. I've seen people get trapped. 
They also change probabilities in here. Um, so you just never know how long it would take to get some of these higher tiers. I've got to go for tiers. My whole focus now is the tier level. And we'll just stay on there until I either get, like, lose all my coins or I <laughs> maybe get the tier I want. If I get a foundation card on the highest tier, that's fine. Um, what you'll see is it's this part of these videos is to see is it actually worth it. So far, you know, 14,000 in and I haven't got the highest tier yet. Taking forever to get these. I, I could have stuck with that one. They're really just locking me on these lower tiers, which does suck. So part of these videos is to show you guys, is this worth it at all? So far, it's not. So um, there have been times I've jumped in here and I was able to get like the highest tier within, you know, four or 5,000 coins. So I may just have to stick with this. I'm going to go stars and let's just see what I can get if I get a theme card or not two star I don't want that so I'm gonna go again and I'll probably spin positions but now I'm just gonna look for theme cards